I'm going to start this video here and as you can probably hear I'm quite out of breath for this I thought it was actually going to take me longer to get up here but it's steeper than what it is and not too much of a distance where I'm actually heading for is the top waterfall up here so I'm going and my plans are to go up and see this is the first time I've been here so my plans are to go up and see what it's like and basically scout it out for some more shoots I am as I say it's the first time I've been here and I'm looking forward to this because it's the excitement of coming to a new place uh, we're up here all day uh, with a a one-to-one -one workshop and now that that's finished I decided to stay up here just to miss all the traffic out decided to stay up here and walk up to this so hopefully you can hear me hopefully there's not too much wind at all if any it's just a gentle breeze at the moment but I'm really excited about going to this place because I've looked at it for ages and I've just seen some midges there but I've got my midgey cream so that's okay but as I say I've been up here all day and even with factor 50 on my face is burnt so i think i'm going to have to invest in a hat to shield my face because i'm not getting any younger and the sun doesn't help that at all but for this one as you can hear i'm out of breath and it's because i raced up here thinking i want to get up here quick and then the slope decided you're not racing up here so I'm just going to take my time and walk up I don't know how much time is left for filming so I'm going to keep this quite short and I'll do some b-roll shots of the area and also hopefully if I've got enough time left for footage I'll film the waterfalls and talk you through what I did to capture them if there's anything here as I say it is a scouting mission basically and it's a difficult one <laughs> I shouldn't have raced off to get it so what I'll do is I'll sign off from here just now and I'll start filming again once I'm at the waterfalls but the one thing I'm not going to do once I'm at the waterfalls is I'm not going to talk over it because same as always the waterfall kills the sound. So I'll see you once I'm back up at the waterfalls. Earlier that day it started as a one-to-one -one workshop so I took some snapshots along the way. The weather was predicted to be overcast with some sunny spells but it turned out not to be like that and it was really warm all day with hardly any cloud cover. So when the workshop ended I decided to head down to these two waterfalls that I had seen previously in many visits and it was a nice hike up to them. As you heard at the beginning I didn't know there was a path up to them so I ran up as fast as I could. Had fun on the way up with some selfies just to pass the time as well and once I reached the top of the waterfalls I spent quite a bit of time just looking around and seeing what was there. There's plenty of opportunity up here uh, for different compositions, whether that includes the waterfalls or the surrounding glen and the trees in the glen. It's really quite interesting. I'm hoping to get back up very, very soon to look for compositions. The waterfall itself was quite beautiful and I'm glad I headed up at the end of the day.
What I've actually done is I've come round away from the waterfall. I never managed to beat the sun to get here because what it's doing is it's causing a shadow down one side, so I'm not getting a nice even light on the waterfall. Even for some scouting photographs, I'm not getting them. So what I'm going to do, it looks as if there's another bank of cloud heading in, quite a light one, but it might be enough just to give me a flat light to get a couple of shots here without really harsh shadows or really strong specular highlights. So that's what I'm doing. I've stepped away from the waterfall just to film this because I know what this is like filming beside a waterfall, so hopefully you can hear me. So I'm going to head back over. I've left my gear over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back over and try and get a shot as the light is changing now. The sun itself was changing quite rapidly with the clouds and so it ruined any potential shots that I could get. Although they are just scouting images, it was lovely to see this waterfall. This is the first time, as I said, I've been up here. But in particular, there was some detail at the bottom. A slight wind picked up as well, which stopped me from going in closer to the waterfall because of the spray coming back but the detail at the base of the waterfall. With this next image, which is just a crop of an image I had taken, you can see the water cascading down over the rocks. Now, I really like the effect that this has, and I'm going to get back up in the very near future and spend a little time and look for different compositions with this, because I'd like to study this even further and get some really nice shots, or hopefully, potentially, some really nice shots. I thought there was somebody behind me there. Well, as you can probably tell, the sun has beaten me. There's no more clouds. It doesn't look as if there's any more clouds coming in. It looks as if there's a, a blue sky for the rest of the evening. And that in itself is just brilliant, the fact that it's a blue sky. But for me, even scouting this just now, the shadows are too harsh. So, a couple of photos I'll get, a couple of photos I won't. There'll be nothing brilliant anyway, because it is, as I say, I keep saying, it is a scouting shot, this. And it's just to see, never been here, and it's actually, there's a lot of potential here. Uh, waterfall potential, but there's a lot of potential here as well. And I'm looking forward to coming back. The weather predicted today wasn't like this. It wasn't like this and so I'm not complaining because it's, it's really, really nice. It must be around 17 degrees just now sitting up here and to be honest, I'm not that high up. I'm but lucky if I'm 200 metres up just at this angle, I'll be very lucky and it's fantastic views that we have as well. That'd be a great shot as well and I went up and I had fun with the selfies as well, so I stood on top of the rock and had fun with them. They looked terrible, but it's just something to kill the time while I was hoping that the clouds would come back in. I can see a small touch of clouds coming in, but mostly all the clouds are over there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down and walk back up what's left of the the kind of river here. I'm going to walk back up it because there's two waterfalls come in and meet as one and as I say I've never seen this before so I'm going to jump down there and go in and see what it's like but to be honest it's just brilliant being out. Even if I can't get down there it's absolutely brilliant just to be up here today again. I love it up here, absolutely love it up here. Uh, so the next part of the video might be down there but then again, it might be back at the house, just showing you the images I got and talking you through what it is I liked about them compositionally, because these are not final shots, and what I'll reconsider doing the next time I come back up. So that's it for now. I'm going to head down that way. So as you can see, I'm saying we're only about 200 metres up. That's my car down there, parked down there. So we're lucky if this is even 200 metres. But what I'm going to do is the two waterfalls. This one comes in from here, and this one falls down here, and they meet down around that area down there. So I'm going to head down there. I've got to follow the path around and then cut across and come back up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down there and just see what there is available. 
As you can see, the light's too harsh, but it's fun being here and it's fun seeing new places. When I got down to the lower falls, I actually spent most of the time just sitting in the rocks or wandering around, just enjoying the natural beauty of the area. I did take a couple of snapshots for compositions and or possible compositions for future reference and I was playing around with the dappled light and the flat light as well just to see how things looked but as I say these are just snapshots and just as a reminder of the area there was a couple of places that I didn't go to because I was thinking of my journey home and I just thought I'll just enjoy a nice relaxing drive home hopefully you've enjoyed this video slightly different doesn't I didn't come away with any photographs for this but I really enjoyed this scouting trip if you have enjoyed the video please check out some other videos in the channel consider subscribing and thanks again for watching <laughs>